Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a current subscriber or seen my videos before. My name's Adrienne, I'm a certified personal trainer, and here on my YouTube channel, I talk about PCOS. Uh, <laughs> I just blinked up. I talk about PCOS, do at home slash gym workout videos. I do some vlogs here and there. Of course, if you've seen my shorts, you've probably seen some of the stuff I post on TikTok. Again, a little bit more informational. But like what we're doing today, we are cooking. More specifically, we are making a dessert because it's summer and we want some fun, healthy snacks. So this is a high protein yogurt bar. I ran out of popsicle sticks and I couldn't find any in the store. So we did cake puffs. We will, um, what's that fun word? Um, not compensate, but compromise. Yeah, we're gonna compromise on that part. But it's okay, again, it's high protein, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, yay. First off, we're gonna need a mixing bowl. And I'm actually gonna use uh, vanilla almond yogurt as the base. We wanna put a cup of it in here. This is actually half a cup, but we're going in for another cup right here. Scrape that. Again, the inside of this ice cream bar is vanilla. Leave that here. Adding more into the vanilla flavor. We're gonna use a vanilla protein powder. You could use one of your choice. You more so want one that has a lot of vanilla-y that's on the sweeter side if you prefer sweeterness. So you're gonna put down that measurement of protein powder. So this one calls for two scoops for 20 grams of protein in here. It is plant-based, it is gluten-free, it is vegan called Owen, only what you need. Um, I alternate between protein powders. So this is the one I'm on. We're gonna go ahead and just mix it all in. I'm not adding any more sweetener in here because it's gonna be sweet enough based off my, the vanilla protein of choice I'm using. We also wanna get as smooth as possible. But there's little chunks like so, that's okay. But do your best. All right, and let's move into the next part. Okay, so the parchment, we're gonna get parchment paper for this, that way it won't stick to it. Um, since it's rolly, I did put a knife on each side to weigh it down. And what we're gonna do is Put some dabs of, the, of it onto the parchment, like so. So I'm just doing two spoonfuls. Ideally, you want popsicle sticks for this. Unfortunately, the stores did not have popsicle sticks. What I did find were cake pop sticks. So I'm just gonna put two right here, kinda squeeze it in there. Coat the top of this off right here. These two for this one. Again, ideally, you want popsicle sticks and not cake pop sticks. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then there's the baby one. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes to let them harden before we move on to the next steps. Okay, before I'm gonna pull out the 
yogurt, protein yogurt bars. I am having uh, dark chocolate morsels. You wanna use quite a bit of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some coconut oil in there. Enough to help melt it, because I'm just gonna microwave it for about 30 seconds. Mix it around and then microwave it again. Make it nice and smooth. On this side, I have some co uh, coconut flakes and almond, slivered almonds or sliced almonds to help to add some toppings. Wow, I'm stumbling over my words. But all right, I'm gonna put this in the microwave, BRB. It was in there for 30 seconds, so give it a good mix. Some of the ones on the bottom are melted. I would say I do not want to burn these. That's why we're doing in increments of 30 seconds versus a solid minute. No one wants to eat burnt chocolate. All right, and putting it back in for another 30. And back again, they're more melted. So keep mixing. Kind of see them breaking apart more and more and becoming smoother. Perfect. Now I could get the yogurt bars out. Okay, the yogurt bars are out. I already removed them, but you could gently just pull them off. They should come off relatively easy. Actually, really freaking easy. What we're gonna do is coat our chocolate the best we can. <laughs> coat it the best we can with the dark chocolate. So sloppy, but it's fucking hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Nothing's ever perfect. But on the one side, again, you could have fun with this. Put some slivered almonds on some. You could have fun and mix it up. You should want to go pretty fast with this too. I should have said that. Uh, because the chocolate is going to start cooling off on. You kind of flip it over. It's already hard. Oops, see. And now we could do the opposite side. I should do this one a little faster. That way it sticks. And keep doing it to all of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and make more chocolate and finish these up. Once we finish it all by putting all the chocolate on it and our toppers, we're gonna to put them back in the refrigerator for another 20 minutes. Okay, now that our cake pops are ready to go, if chill in the freezer for a bit to ensure that everything is on there. It may flake here or there, but that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and get into, did I just say cake pops? I did just call this a thing a cake pop. It is not a cake pop. It's like protein yogurt bar treat thing. So ice cream. High protein. Okay, let's go. Holy shit, that is so damn good. I have not made this in a very long time. I made like a yogurt bar, a blueberry yogurt bite thing before. 
posted like a year ago. Yeah. I was gonna tell you, just go make this. Just, just go make this. Let me know what you think of it. If you like it as much as I do. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be like, if I'm gonna be craving like ice cream, I mean, they're still probably around the same amount in calorie wise, but at least it's gonna be healthier. It's got dark chocolate, got almonds, got coconut flakes, has protein in it, and it's yogurt, so it helps with inflammation. A bit more of a healthy snack, but yeah, just go make this. And with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you who take the time to watch my videos and help support this channel for free. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me grow. I can make more videos just like this. And of course, workout videos. It is, since it is the summer, I'll be outside doing more workout videos. So if you have any suggestions on what parts of the body you want me to do, it's more full by kettlebell, any of that stuff, let me know that as well in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.